when you hear that voice, it's like, oh. Because the problem is Keaton is Batman. That's, that's the problem. This is what you need to understand about Batman. You know, it's when you're that dude, you're that dude. Because see, Batman, what I've seen through the years that Batman is a very tricky character. Because how it was supposed to be, this was how it's supposed to be. How it was supposed to be was once Christian Bale became Batman, that was it. Like, finito, that was it. Nothing more to be said. Boom. Because that was the whole point. Because remember, not everybody wanted Michael Keaton to be Batman. Is he the right side? Does he have the right chain? Does he have the right thing? And so forth. And even if Batman was super successful and everything, the notion was, mm, this really isn't ideally the Batman. And even for me, I always see, I thought that once Begins and Batman comes out, the kids Batman will just be like a childhood nostalgic thing. That's how it was going to be. Bill will just come and give you the definitive Batman of what, what, what it was. But then when you saw what happened with Dark Knight and then with Rises, and you go back to Batman and like, oh wow, Keaton was is actually still tops. So now, okay, he had the Ben Affleck. See, Ben Affleck was never going to touch him because it's freaking Ben Affleck. So he was never going to do anything. So now we have Robert Pattinson. And I think Robert Pattinson is a good quality actor. The guy, he is a top-notch actor. I think he's a really, really good actor. And I think he's going to do a great job. But the difficulty here is... I've watched... I've looked at both of the trailers right now. And the... You see, the, the, the Batman trailer with Mama Reeves... It is shot amazingly, superb cinematography, some really good, impressive scenes. But when you look at Robert Pattinson, he's doing a good job there. But he's playing a version of Batman. Bale played a version of Batman. Ben Affleck played a version of Batman. So did George Clooney. He's... When you watch this Flash trailer, I've seen this Flash trailer. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to keep on watching it like on repeat right now because... What that trailer does for me personally is something I can't put into words. I don't think you understand how important Batman is to me and how this shaped who I am and how important the film was to my upbringing. Like, I've watched Batman more times than any other film. There's no film I've watched more times than that Batman film. I don't even call it Batman, it's just the Batman. It's, that's a Batman film to important. I've watched it more times than any other film. You know that you don't see, you, you don't even see Keaton in this trailer. All you hear is that music. That's music from the first Batman film. You see Wayne Manor, that, that Bat Cave. You hear his voice. You see the cowl, and then you just see the Batmobile, obviously covered by um, the cover. That, just that. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. When you hear that voice, it's like, oh. Because the problem is Keaton is Batman. That's, that's the problem. You see, all these guys, like, they all have their, their takes. And I think because I never knew that it was going to end up like this, I always felt like if there's going to be a better Batman, there's just going to be. And it should have been Bill because of what we saw Bill do in Equilibrium, we saw Bill do in, in American history, it should have been Bill. But what we've now found out is, no, oh, Keaton is Batman. And what we've learned from Keaton, because Keaton was, was always sort of reserved about the whole thing because of the kind of experience they had being Batman with people that didn't want him to be Batman, that guys were against him, blah, 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 blah. blah. But... As years have gone by, I think, and I think because of how much people have talked about him and how whether he's, he'll be in the streets and people just talk about how important his Batman mom was to them, I think he's grown to understand how important the role is. It's very similar to Mark Hamill and Luke Skywalker. Mark Hamill was always like wanting to distance himself from the role, but as he's grown older, he's now understood how important that role is and what it really means. Same thing for 
your boy um, Lawrence Fishburne and Morpheus. Although, they, <laughs> look, that resurrection is, is nonsense. So I think the same thing for Keaton. He's understood that, no, 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 no. I didn't just play a character. I didn't just play a role in a film. This was something very special. And what he did with the role is beyond iconic. And when you just see, like, I when I was just watching the trailer and so forth, I was like, okay, blah, blah, blah. When I just heard the voice, I could have cried. I, th I think I cried inside because I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Be it, is, it is so hard to explain to you because if you didn't grow up with this, it's hard to explain. Like when you just hear that voice, Basically, I think it's Andy Muschietti, basically the guy who, who directed the It's remake. That directs so. Because that's not a Flash trailer. That's a Batman trailer. <laughs> that's a Batman trailer. But because he could have very easily made it very focused on the Flash and so forth, and you just see a quick peek of, of Batman. The fact that he chose that music, and it was so heavily hackling back to Keaton's Batman and the iconic music and the scenes, the scenery and so forth, it showed you how important that film was to him, the director, the fact that he made the trailer that way. Now, I have no idea what the hell is going on in this film. I'm seeing, I think, was that like Superwoman or Supergirl? I have no idea. See, the way I'm going to watch this film is actually very cheap and very rude, but I don't really care about Flash. I'm in that cinema for Batman. <laughs> so I am solely going to that cinema precisely and only for one man and that's Batman and that's for Keaton that's it because and you see and that's why I always feel sorry for Robert Pattinson because where the fact that Keaton just exists <laughs> because if see if you go to the real core guys, guys will say, "Oh my gosh, Bill and everything." But when you go to that, to that, to the real core guys, they know that, yeah, it's Keaton is Batman, and guys know deep down they'll fight for Ben Affleck, they'll fight for Bill, but guys deep down know that the Batman to the core, the guy who is the actual Batman to the core, it's Keaton. It's 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 it, he's that dude. And you see, because Robert Pattinson, he's, he's doing his, his best and everything, but with Keaton, just the moment you just hear that voice, there, is, there are so many layers to that freaking voice. There's so much personality, there's, there's so much nuance to that voice. You're like, you, you can't compete with that. You can't compete, you, you can't compete with that. So, Lord only knows what's going to happen in this movie. Like, time travel, future past, Lord only knows. But for, you see, it's going to be hard for you younger people to, to understand. You'll never understand. It's impossible. So I'm pe speaking to people who grew up with that film. So if, let's say, you have older people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, that age of the 30s, 40s, and 50s who grew up with that film, they can best try to explain to you that, bro, because I don't... Basically, the reason why we have hype for this new Batman film and everything, the reason for everything, Nolan films and everything, is that film that Tim Burton made. <laughs> that film in 1989 that Tim Burton made, and what Keaton did is why Batman is such a big deal, because that film was, it was the first block, it was the first comic book movie blockbuster. Block, as I mentioned, as a blockbuster, so... I'm going to watch the I'm going to watch the, the, the trailer again right. I am going to watch the trailer again right now, right now, right now. 